What's good, YouTube? I'm Lucky Rose Incorporated, and I'm your host, Triple N, and I'm here for a deck profile of Yu-Gi-Oh! I know we don't we usually do a lot of Vanguard, but I do like Yu-Gi-Oh! I've actually been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! longer than I've been playing Vanguard, so I thought I'd do a deck profile for Flower Cardians. It's a fun little casual deck. It's nothing competitive, nothing like that. If anyone knows how to make Cardians competitive, let me know in the comments. Like, show me something. Like, tell me what... You know, but look at my deck profile. Let me know what I think of it. Uh, I know Car Cardians have gotten a little bit of support, and I've actually incorporated that support into the deck. I don't use that new spell, though. The new spell, I'm not saying it's bad. I did get it, but I didn't put it in the deck. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm hoping uh, Konami gives us some Link Monsters for this. I want two Link Monsters one Link 1 and a Link 4, maybe like a new boss monster. That'd be like nice. But I play. Uh, three flower cardian with pine. Um, when you normal summon, you get to draw. And if it's a flower card, you keep it. If not, you turn it to the graveyard. And if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, um, you can draw a card. So it's, it's literally like your starter, like your combo style. It starts things. You play this, and then you start like getting your cardians off and stuff like that. Um, it's a it's a really decent card. Yikes! I dropped my whole camera. That just happened. Ah, doof. Not cutting that out because I don't know how to. But um, next card, the new card. Uh, three, Flower uh, Cardian, Cherry, Blossom, um, if you control level two or lower Flower Cardian, you can special summon this card from your hand, and you cannot normal summon or special summon for the rest of this turn, except Flower Cardian Monsters, once a turn, you can tribute one Flower Cardian Monster, draw one card, and if you do, show it, if it's a Flower Cardian Monster, you could take one Flower Cardian from your deck, except Flower Cardian, Cherry, Blossom, and add it to your hand or special summon, otherwise, the card you drew, uh, send the card you drew to the graveyard, so it's like, if you draw a flower card in here, you're now allowed, if you draw a flower, you tribute a monster, um, so like, let's say if you summon pine, you know, tribute, uh, summon this, tribute pine, draw a card, if it's a flower card in here, now you have the ability to go into your deck and summon one or add it to your hand, and then like, it, it literally gives you combos, this is a really cool card, this, this, the deck kind of needed it, they needed another like extender, or like something else, because it was only two, and if you didn't see those two, you were kind of in a bad predicament, so, this is really good, it really helps the deck, so I played three of it, uh, next card I played three of, I played three, Flower Cardian, Cherry Blossoms with Curtain, what Curtain does is, um, you can reveal the top card. You could reveal this and then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a flower card, you could special summon this card. Um, and then you keep the other card. But if it's not, you send it and the other card to the graveyard. It's a cause, but it's like it's really good that way. Also, it has the effect. I think it has an effect where you, like, if you battle something. Uh, there any players damage that flower card in monster you battle your opponent. You could discard this card that battle and monster gains a thousand attack. So it's a, it can be used to gain some extra power when you're doing battle. Um, so that's decent as well. But I played three of it just mostly for the summoning, but you could get that other effect off. I've done it like a couple times. Not a lot though. Um I played three uh, flower cardian pony with butterfly. It is a tuner monster. Um, you summon this by tributing a flower cardian, and then you could draw a card. And if that card is a flower card, you can look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck, and you can either leave them at the top or put them at the bottom in any order you choose. And if it's not a flower cardian card, you uh, send it to the graveyard, just like everything else. And it's a tuner. And uh, when you use this to uh, synchro summon, you can make this and all the materials count as two. That's really important. All the tuners do that, I think. So. Um, that's really important to get out your some of your synchros and stuff, but you gotta play three because you need your tuners. Uh, three, uh, flower cardian zebra grass. These are the ones with the 500 attack. These they can be special summoned with ease. You just have to have uh, cardians that's like lower leveled than they are. But this one in particular, it allows you to shuffle your hand back and then draw the same amount of cards. It doesn't have that effect to where if you don't draw a flower card or whatever, whatever, it just lets you reshuffle your hand back. Um, and draw the same number of cards, so it, it's it's good. Mm, some hand manipulation because sometimes you sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need it. Um, my favorite flower cardian, flower cardian with willow. Um, if you have a card that's lower level than it, you just because you're summoning it, and then um, you just summon it, and then uh, it also has the effect that lets you send a card from your graveyard back to the deck, shuffle it, and draw. Doesn't have to be a flower cardian. You don't have to draw a flower cardian to do it. You know, um, to get keep the card or whatever, you just get a free card pretty much, and it's not a hard once per turn, so you could do this as much as you want um so that's cool uh like it's not it's a it's not a hard one like so like you could use it once with this and then if you put another one if you could use it again that's what i mean uh flower cardian uh pala palanelia i think that's how you say it um you can summon this if you have a monster's low a flower card is lower leveled 
Um, when this card is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack in the battle phase and then draw a card. Uh, it could be a staller if you really need it to be. Like if your opponent doesn't have stuff to deal with it, probably they will. But if you're just playing casual, they might not. Uh, if your opponent has nothing really to stop it, uh, like you could just literally end battle phases with it. So it's really cool for that. But it's like I usually use it for synchro summoning and all that. But yeah, you know it has its uses. And plus, it's another 100 attack target. So. Uh, I play two Flower Cardi and Willow with Calligrapher. This is the other tuner. This one's harder. You have to tribute Willow because it's the only level uh, 11 Flower Cardi in, I think, in the deck. So you have to literally tribute Willow to summon this. And then when this card is summoned, you get to draw a card. If it's Flower Cardi, you get to special summon if it's not sent into the graveyard. And then this also has that ability to all the materials you use to sync or summon. It becomes two. Um, so, another tuner in the deck. You play two just because it's a tuner. If there was other tuners in this deck, I would probably bump this down to one. These, these 2000 ones are kind of like a hard one you want to play. Um, because they, they're so specific with uh, what you have to tribute. Uh, I play two deer. Deer is here for, uh, spell popping. Spell trap, spell and trap pops. Uh, you have to summon it. You have to tribute a flower, uh, a flower card here. And then you have to draw a card. And if you draw a flower card, you get to pop a spell trap for free. If, uh, you don't, you send that card to the graveyard. So it's just... It's literally, it does it does flower cardy and things, but it's there to pop spell in the traps. Two is fine. I don't think you need more than two. Um, but, yeah. One, uh, Pine with Crane. You have to tribute the level one flower cardy, and then you draw a card. If it's a flower card, you special summon it. If not, uh, it goes to the uh, graveyard. Um, if this card battles, you get to draw a card. So that's cool if it destroys. Usually it doesn't lay on the field long. It's literally there so you could get another one on the field and then you could try like synchro summon or something. Uh, I play one boar. Boar is like uh is like the other one. This one pops monsters and stuff spells, so it does the same thing. You have to trigger a flower cardian. If you draw a cardian, you pop a monster for free. If not, then you send it to the graveyard. It's just a one of because I don't feel like you really need much monster pop effects with this deck. I really feel like you don't. But you might. It just depends. You could bump the number up, but I just play the one. I play one zebra grass with moon. You have to tribute zebra grass to summon this. Um, so you have to tribute like a level eight flower cardian, and if you do, draw a card. If it's a flower cardian, you're supposed to summon it. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. Once turn this could destroy a monster by battle. Draw a card. So like a lot of them have that effect, where like if they destroy something, you can draw a card. So all the like all the one ofs I usually play, they all have that kind of same effect. You have to tribute a certain flower cardian. Um, draw a card if it's a card you summon it for free, and then if it's not sent to grave, then if it does battle, you can draw. So, it, 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 those are like the one ofs. You, like I said, they're in there for name purposes at most. But all right, on to the spells. I play three flower gathering. Flower gathering is the best card in this deck, really. It's one of the best cards because it's just special summon for flower cardian monsters with 100 attack with different names from your deck and attack position. But they have their effects negated. Also, they cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. You can only activate one flower cardian per turn. You cannot normal special summon other monsters during the turn. You activate with flower cardians. This whole deck is flower cardians. You're not summoning nothing else. Um, so this this card is literally like the go-to. You really want to see it in your opening hand. If you don't, you might be fine depending on what's in your hand. But this card is just amazing. Like, amazing. Just getting four flower cardians on your field is nothing. And then, like, now you if you have a tuner or you have cards that can get you to your tuner, you're, you're, you're set. You're set. And there's so many targets that have 100, which especially with the new card because it's another 100. So now you have, like, five targets in your deck. And you play three of all those five targets. So this card will never be dead unless something went wrong but this card is amazing um next i play uh three flower stacking flower stacking is a good card as well it lets you look uh look through your deck grab three flower cardings you want shuffle your deck and then put the, the, the rest on top of your deck so it lets you like control so because all the flower cardings have abilities that you let you draw and they have to be cardians to get those skills so this gives you some deck manipulation and lets you get those cards and get those effects off um and if it's sent to the graveyard, except the turn it's sent to the graveyard, you could banish this card and then target one flower card of your graveyard, add it to your hand. That that's just so lit. Like it just it, there's so much synergy with this deck, where you you just draw and then your spells have effects as well in the graveyard that can help you out later on in the game as well. So flower stacking is really good. I played at three. Flower cardian and that uh flower cardian and um 
Flower stacking and flower gathering are definitely three of You really have to play three of those. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters on what kind of build you go for when it's a stack. Uh, reincarnation. Um, you can target one flower card. You want to gray eye to your hand. You can special one flower card. You must your hand. Ignoring its summoning conditions. That's that's a really good. Because um, sometimes you'll have a flower card you just can't use. And then you could get one that you know you could just summon for free. And then summon the other one. It just gives you more plays and then if this card sends a grave due to a flower card in monsters effect you could excavate the top five cards of your deck if you get a spell and trap you can grab it then you could uh, put the rest in the top of your deck in any order that's another card manipulation which is really good so even if you hit it off a of flower card in effect it's not dead because it still goes off and like you could still do things so that's really good but three reincarnation because Getting your flower cardings from the graveyard sometimes is good, especially if you want to do uh, some more synchro plays. I play two super koi koi. Some uh, this card is one of these like risky risky cards. I like I like usually like tying this in with flower stacking because what it does is you can escalate the top three cards of your deck, and for every flower card you, you just special summon them, negating their effects and making them level two. And then, um, but if it's not, you have to, every card that's not a flower card you, you have to banish it and then you take a thousand. So this card is really good for. It's really good when you play flower stacking. There's been a couple times I've played this without using flower stacking and actually hit three flower cardians. So it's like, it's not bad. I don't want to play it at three just because it's risky. But sometimes I used to play it at three and it wasn't still wasn't bad. Also has another effect where you could banish it from the graveyard, trip the monster, special on one flower cardian from your head and going so many conditions. So sometimes it's another helper. But two, I think it's fine. And then the last card I play is one reinforcement of the army. You really want to see those flower cardians you could just summon. Uh... Because a lot of flower cardians, you have to have conditions to summon them. But with this, you can get the level 1 one, the level 2, or the level 3, which can be summoned easier than the other one. So, that's uh, the deck right there. But let me go to the extra deck. Uh, 3, Flower Cardian, Light Flare. It's the boss of the deck. Um, takes five, a 1 tuner and 4 non-tuner monsters. Uh, it's Like I said, it's a really, it's a really big boss. Uh, once you turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that card. If a flower card is monster, you can control battles on a opponent's monster. Opponent's monster effect is negated during that battle phase only if this synchro summoned card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of the opponent's card effect while it's in the owner controls it. You can special someone flower card and synchro monster from your extra deck except uh, flower card or light flare. Um, so it's a it's a big a big monster you have to go to is 5,000 attack and no defense. It's a big monster you usually go to. You use a lot of resources to go to, so I'm glad that they gave it a, uh, if it leaves the field effect, you could just get another synchro out of your extra deck, so you're not really losing, losing. Um, it's a really good card. It's I really like it. I would, like I said, it's just, I really wish they would give us some links or either more synchros that do extra things, but this is a big monster, and it's like, you get this and the other one I'm about to show you out, then you're, you're in a decent position. You're not in the best, but you're in a, like, a position where you could just win if your opponent doesn't have nothing to deal with them. And the next card I was talking about is Flower Cardi and Light Shower. This card is really good. Um... Your opponent cannot target flower cardian monsters you control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by card effects. So they can't be targeted, and they can't be destroyed, and during your opponent's draw phase, um, when they draw, they take 1,500 points of damage. Um, and then at the, end of, uh, at the end phase, you can either choose to make this of card's effect go away, or you can skip your draw phase. Um, skipping your draw phase is not bad. If you just, because you, you draw so much with flower cardians, you really don't even need a draw phase. Um, if you have this and the big guy set up, you're pretty much, in, like I say, you're in a good position. If your opponent really doesn't have much, you could pretty much kill them in maybe a turn or two. And if, let's say, you go second and they don't play nothing, you can kill them in one turn if you can get both out, which I have done in games. There's games where I've gotten both out in turn one and I went first, so it's possible. You just just play the cards. Uh, the next card I play, I play... I technically played three of this. I just don't know what my other third one is. Flower Cardi and Board Fly. Uh, it takes three. It takes one tuner and two non-tuner monsters. Uh, if a Flower Cardi monster you control attacks a defense position monster, flick pierce or battle damage. Um, if you can get this on the field with the other two, then you can give the piercing, which then puts your opponent in an even worse position. Um, also, you can bench one Flower Cardi graveyard to the end of your opponent's next turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards and from the graveyard, and they cannot special summon monsters from the graveyard. So this could hurt zombie decks or anything that plays off graveyard. Um, so this is decent as well. It's, just, it's there if you need to do that piercing. Um, you really, I usually only go into this as if like I have nothing else to do and I've already summoned my other two big monsters and now it's like my opponent is just playing defensively. So that's the only time I really go into this, but either other than that, it's just decent. 
Um, the last Flower Cardian, the last card I played in my extra deck is Flower Cardian Moonflower Viewing. I really haven't mastered this card. I'm saying that because I've seen people use her three, six times in a game just to make the board that they want. And I really don't know how to do that. I usually, it's like, I wouldn't mind using her if I really knew how to work her, but I don't. Like, I use her at times, but I just don't know how to maneuver her like other people. Because she's a tuner, most she's a tuner and a synchro. One tuner, two non tuners. Uh, once we're, during the main phase, you can draw a card. If you do show, if it's a flower card, you can special summon ignore a sunny condition and it can attack directly this turn. If you activate this effect, skip the draw phase of your next turn, which no one cares. When this card is used as a synchro, so you can treat it and all other synchro materials as level two. So this is really good. Like, it's a, it, I, like I said, I've seen people use this card in a way that i for me personally for some reason i just can't do it and it's really cool because another thing about her i like is the fact that if you draw a card if it's a flower card you can summon it but it doesn't say you have to mill that card if it's not so there's another reason why i like this card because it's really good for that um but other than that there's nothing really else to talk about i like flower cardians i think they're a fun deck uh a lot of people might disagree i don't know how to make them competitive if someone knows how to make this deck competitive like I said, let me know in the comments because I would love to try to build this deck in a competitive manner and see how I do in my locals or whatever. Um, but I like Cardians. It's an anime. It's an anime deck uh, from Arc V. Arc V. Yeah. Um, so let me know what y'all think of my Flower Cardian deck profile. Let me know what y'all think y'all would change. What y'all think I should put in the deck? I also know there's an Exodia build. I probably try to do it, but I just didn't feel like it. So I had to go look for uh, D Synchro and, and all that. So, but like I said, let me know in the comments what y'all believe, what y'all think about this deck. Let me know if you think it's good. Um, let me know how y'all would build it. Let me know if you know a competitive build. Uh, let me know what other deck profiles you might want to see. I could try to bring it to the channel. Uh, me or my partners in crime would try to bring it to the channel and let y'all know it's good. But it's been fun to do this deck profile for y'all. Peace, like, comment, and subscribe. Please, it helps out. It goes a long way. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Peace.